Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a, a hot minute, aka about two months since I last posted. I moved, I had exams, I started a new job, and you know, it's just kind of hard to sit down and film sometimes, but I'm really, really happy to be in front of the camera right now. Um, I have this tropical island inspired makeup tutorial for you today, so if you'd like to see how to get a look, then please keep watching. Okay, so to start, we're going to go in with the eyes first. I've been really liking that technique of doing my eyes and then my face. Um, I find that I can really clean up the eyeshadow nicely if I do that. So I'm going to start by prepping my eyes. This is the 24 hour extend eye base from MAC. Um, we're going to be using some ColourPop eyeshadows and this base just proves to be the best with those. And my eyebrows are already done. I think that doing your eyebrows on, on camera is like the most boring thing in the world. Um, but I did use the Anastasia Dip Brow in case you're wondering. Okay, so to start, start, we're going to go in with Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek, of course. Uh, this is basically going to go everywhere. And you can tell I'm being super messy with this color. Then I'm taking creme brulee on the exact same brush and basically doing the same thing. And again, using the exact same brush, I'm going in with Chickadee from Makeup Geek. Um, I know this color is a little bit intimidating. It's not a usual, typical color. But if you're doing a, um, a look that you just really want to add some vibrancy to, this color is the best way to brighten things up without using some crazy color. This is still a neutral. It's just a very bright neutral. So it just gives a very orangey, peachy color to the eye, and I really like that. So I am going to go with Makeup Geek. I'm using it on this Duo Fiber Brush from Real Techniques. Do you see the brush shaking from my coffee this morning? <laughs> I'm going to focus this color on the outer corner of my eye. Because this is a tropical summer look, I don't want it, things to get too dark, which is why I'm doing such a light application of this color. I'm also going to be focusing it right here on the inside. And then I'm bridging the two together at the very top of my crease. It's such a crazy color, but trust me, it's actually so much more wearable than you would expect. So, and I love ColourPop eyeshadows because I just use my finger for them basically every single time. And we're going to focus this on the very center of our lids, and then I just use my finger to diffuse the edges of it. Look how cool that looks, though. I love it. So now that the telepathy color is on our lid, I'm going to take this brush from Makeup Geek. This is the pointed crease brush. It's a little bit more firm than the ones I was using before. It has a thicker bristle to it. So I'm going to use this. And what am I going to do? Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> of this color down here. What's it called? Streamer, yeah. Dreamer, which is like the second darkest brown in the Tartlet palette. For this, I'm just trying to add some depth to the look. And I'm also using this color to diffuse the edges of telepathy a little bit more. I'm 
course the place that I want this to be the darkest is on the outer corners. The effect of the halo eye, the whole point is that you're going to make your eyes look bigger and more pronounced because by having this darkness that shadows around the eye and this bright and light area that's in the center of the eye, that is going to make the center of your eye come forward and the edges recede, which makes a big full eye look. <laughs> um, so you're really going to be emphasizing the shape of your eye and you can kind of change your eye shape by doing this technique as well. So I'm going to go back with my Real Techniques brush that we use Frappe on and I'm going to use Frappe again because I want to make sure that things stay light. So I don't want this dark brown to take over. So I'm going to take this color. It's like a very champagne gold type of color. It's nice and light. It's from a brand called Chi Chi, which is an Australian makeup brand, and the shade name is Beautiful Day. But just any eyeshadow that looks like this will do. It really doesn't matter. And I'm going to put this on top of telepathy to really diffuse that. So it makes it a bit of a lighter green. I find that telepathy is maybe a bit more of a mid-tone green. And I want to tone it down a little bit. I'm also going to go in and use this as a highlight on my brow bone. I'm just going to go back in with a fluffy brush. I haven't had added any color to this. I'm just going to use that to diffuse some stuff. There we go. And we're going to move on to the face before we do any more on the eyes. I'm going to prime with the Magic Lumi Primer from L'Oreal. Oh my god, look at it shaking from my coffee shakes. <laughs> So we're going to use it. It's a light infusing primer and I just use a very light layer under this foundation. It's really beautiful and um, some people have been saying that it's a dupe for the Becca Backlight Primer that you can get at Sephora. I don't know because I've never tried that one, but it just kind of gives like this pearl finish to the skin. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a mixture of a dark BB cream and my usual Fit Me foundation from Maybelline. So I'm just going to mix that up on the back of my hand. I like the idea of using my regular foundation and mixing it in with a darker BB cream. The BB cream has less coverage than the foundation would and I also just really like the finish of a BB cream. It's normally more skin-like. Um, even though my Fit Me foundation is very good at staying true to skin finish. Um, but I'm just going to dot my little concoction on my face. So I'm just pouncing the foundation into my skin. I'm going to go in with some concealer. I'm really going to try to not be too heavy with my application of products today because I want to remember that this is for a summertime look and climate, so the less product, the better, and your skin will just thank you. I don't know about you, but my face sweats, so <laughs> I don't want things, I don't want my sweat to get clogged from my makeup too much and create some issues blemish-wise. So the lighter the application, the better. And plus, it's summertime. It's just so flattering to wear less makeup with your tan. And I started doing this this summer. I had never tried it before, and I always really wanted to. But I got a very dark concealer. Well, a very dark concealer for me. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, but it's in the shade Cafe, I believe. Yep, Cafe. Um, and I've just been putting... Oh, that's a lot. A dot. Like that. Well, a bit of a stretch. And using this to kind of contour and bronze at the same time. But because it is a cream liquid type of product, the way that it will blend into your skin and look throughout the day will look much more natural than a powder will. And again, you don't even need to purchase another brush for this because you can just use ooh, itchy nose. You can just use this side of your sponge. Wow. 
Now that we've applied all of our cream products that we're going to use, I'm going to go in with some powder just over top of everything. Um, again, it's the summertime, it's a warm climate, you're going to want to set your face because not necessarily for oily reasons, but for sweaty reasons. <laughs> Then I'm taking a very beautiful product. This is called Hula Hula. It's a very shimmery bronzer from um, Hard Candy, which is um, Walmart's brand of makeup. It has gold deposits throughout it, and it's just so beautiful. I'm just going to bronze my skin with that. I always forget how intense this is, and then I have to damage control because I put too much on <laughs> If you're worried that you're going to apply too much, you can tap in and then and then tap it on your arm. Then I'm going to go in with my absolute favorite blush right now. This is Luminoso from, no, hmm, from Milani. Um, this is a baked blush. You can get this at Rexall if you're in Canada or you can get it online. Um, this has been a cult favorite in the beauty world for a really long time and I just didn't want to buy it online. I don't know, I just never really got to it and was trying to be good and save my money. And then it was finally in my Rex all the other day and I freaked out. So I was very excited. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful shade. And this stuff lasts all day. It does not make and now, of course, it is time to highlight because it's not a summertime look without highlight. And I am using Champagne Pop from Becca's Collab with Jaclyn Hill. This color, I don't love it on me in the winter. It's just okay for me on the winter because I get so pale and I don't self tan. But in the summer, yowzers, it is so nice. So now we're going to go back to the eyes. We're going to do something very fun on the bottom. This is a gel liner from Inglot. It's number 88. They don't name their stuff, they just number it. And um, we're going to put this in the waterline and just add a pop of color. This is also an Inglot liner brush. So I'm just tapping in and getting a teensy amount. This stuff is like paint, I'm serious. When you put it in your waterline, or for that matter, anywhere, it does not matter. are on as well as on my so I'm out <laughs> okay so my lashes are on as well as on my mascara um I use the Demi Wispies from Ardell what else is now um and now for lips I'm going to be using a Colourpop lippy stick in the shade Anyways, on my lips I'm going to be using Aquarius from Colourpop. It's just one of my all-time favorite nudes and I'm an Aquarius so I really like that. Um, but I like this because it has a shine to it which I think is perfect for the summer. So this is my finished look. I really hope that you guys like my tropical inspired makeup tutorial. I really love it. I think that the pop of blue and the green and brown on top is just so island colored. I don't know. <laughs> I really like it. I hope you do too. If you do like it, I'd really appreciate it if you could share my video, like my video, um, recreate this look. Um, I hope that you all have a great day wherever you are and hopefully I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks, bye.